Hi friends, let's talk about how to become self-taught software developer and get job in your chosen industry. This approach and framework will work to any other career path, but a few examples and learning resources will be more usable for iOS development because I am iOS developer. For those who don't know, my name is Ivers, I'm building my own iOS apps and freelancing to pay my bills. I have computer science degree, but I learned all the iOS development on my own, so I count myself as self-taught developer as well. Start with the end goal in mind. Too often I am asked which is the best programming language to learn and that is totally wrong question. That is about the same like asking which car is the best without knowing are you going to drive that car to work in big city day to day or you are going to the off-road expedition. So firstly you should clarify what would you like to do and then which career path looks the most interesting for you you can work as programmer in a big company small startup become a freelancer or maybe you are just looking for tools to build your own apps or startup when you know where you would like to work you should decide what you would like to do backend development web development security mobile apps game development you name it, those are different career paths and different skill sets needed to follow them. So also different programming languages. Start with what and why. What and why you want to do. This can be a bit tricky to figure out what to choose and what is your end goal. Let me explain on my example. So what um, from all the touch, I like uh, Apple products uh, the best and I wanted to have my work around them. So I decided that I would like to learn iOS development to build my own apps and freelancing to continue to work with other developers and companies in the industry as well. For my question, I just wanted to escape my 9 to 5 office job to have more freedom planning my own time and planning my own working hours plus I wanted to reuse my product management skills which I acquired working in corporate job as product manager. Freelancing and own app development looks like best fit for me. You should do the same planning for your life, answer <laughs> for yourself what you would really like to do in about five years from now and then probably you will see which is the best fit for you. Let's talk about money. Money is important because it enables you to keep control over your life, but do not pick the job looking to the best by developer job charts and uh, reports. All the jobs in IT are well paid and if you are good at what you are doing, then you will earn enough for comfortable living. No reason to pick something that you don't like and do not enjoy later on the road when you will get that job. So, which programming language to pick? and how to find resources for learning. When you will know what you would like to do, you are ready to pick programming language to learn. There are many ways how to find resources for learning, but the best one probably is to ask someone who is a few steps ahead of you in learning or already working in industry. Also, it is perfect if you have someone to ask for suggestions on the goal while you are learning. We will get into how to find programming friends in the industry and probably mentors in a minute, but First, I will share my favorite resources for iOS learning. When you are self-taught, you should pick your resources on your own and that is kind of challenging. You should pick medium, books or video tutorials, whatever you like. Do not jump between too much resources, stick with few of them and learn consistently. For iOS development, I will suggest starting with the following resources. Get the basics first. Apple Swift programming book is good, available for free, just grab it and go through it and keep around for reference. If you are ready to invest in your uh, learning, I like courses from Sam Allen and highly recommend them. He has part of them published for free on his YouTube channel, so check that out to see if you like his uh, teaching style. Courses are really concentrated test projects have clean and nice design and he's going deep into the thinking behind code explaining why he is doing things in some kind of way in the same time he's keeping videos short hacking with swiftcom is also very good resources with plenty of uh, resources available for free and also you can buy some paid resources there or books so I will link uh, all of that in the description, check that out. So, but how to find friends or mentors in the industry? 
join community around uh, your chosen niche, whatever you decided to learn. There are offline meeting groups and probably someday they will be active again while well, pandemic will be over, but uh, online meeting groups are even better if you are living in the middle of nowhere as I do. Having people to talk and uh, learn together is very beneficial. I highly suggest to find community around the industry what you choose it. There are plenty of them online. For iOS developers there are multiple Slack groups, online gatherings happening and meetups uh, online happening. To get into that and find those communities, I suggest to join Twitter. This is most active for communication so far and follow people in the industry and communicate with them. Do not concentrate your attention on the rock stars in the industry or I don't know, follow only guys who working in Google, Apple and so on looking around for developers who are on about the same level as you are. You will grow together. Firstly, you will help each other to get those learning while you are learning. Later, you will help each other to get into the jobs and find freelance projects when you will be already working in the industry. In the IT industry, that is about the same as in almost any other. That is more important who you know than what do you know. Of course, you should have your tech skills, but friendships in uh, industry will help you to get to that interview. Share your work as early as possible. I will not spend a lot of time on this topic. There is separate video about that. I will just say once more that sharing your work is very, very important and uh, missed by uh, many of developers. It will speak for you way better than CV or motivation letters when you will start applying for jobs or when you will launch your products. Build your own projects and create portfolio. There is video about sticking in tutorial trap. Try to avoid <laughs> that situation. It is easy to follow endless tutorials, but you should build your own projects. That is the best way for learning by running into the problems and solving them. That's basically what developers doing all the day. Also, that is a great way to build your portfolio to show on job interviews or for your potential freelance customers. Use tutorials, but then build your own version of that project using all that you learned. Or use that tutorial as base and build shippable product project on top of it. You will get to the point when you can build whatever is needed from the scratch, but in the beginning it is very hard to start a project from a clean slate and there is nothing wrong to you by using tutorials as base for your projects. I do not contribute to open source projects, but that also is a great way to meet other developers, learn from them and learn how to work in the software development team. I don't think it is mandatory to contribute to the open source to land a job, but for sure it benefits and if you don't have a good portfolio, then you at least will be able to show your code on job interviews. Most likely that will be not useful at all if you will choose the freelancing career path, but if you are looking to get job in company that can be helpful. Preparing for job interviews is topic on its own. For freelancing career your portfolio is most important and then your selling skills and customer management skills following. Own up development is about the same, but more into the product management and design, market research for social marketing as well, all of that. Uh, those are not the easiest career path in the industry and not the best one to start for sure. I suggest to get a job in the company. If you are looking to get a job in a big company like Google, Apple or something similar locally in your country, the interview will be more computer science based and you can get asked to solve algorithm based tests and your portfolio will be less important. In small and medium sized startups that can be anything in the middle from looking on your portfolio and one tier of interviews to the same approach as in a big companies. Of course, everyone has their own learning speed and available time limits. Every industry is a bit different and each end goal will lead you towards a different learning path. But if you will follow the steps described so far, in about six to nine months, you will have a portfolio and friends in community and clear understanding of what do you need to know to get a job. Do not care too much about uh, first company or project what you will get or salary what you will get. You are doing that 
to get into the industry and that first job is to have a record in your CV or portfolio. The very first job is hardest to get, but every next one will be more easy and you will be more picky about choosing job and salary later on the road. Be patient and consistent. Those are keys to success. Stick to your learning schedule and do not worry too much about filing job interviews. Learn from them, keep applying and you need only one yes and that really doesn't matter how much no you will get on the way to get this first job. I started with freelancing and my very first project on Upwork was relatively cheap and I sent out the hundreds of proposals to get first project. But later that become way more easy so keep trying keep learning and you will meet your goals if you have any questions comments are down below ask your questions i am trying to get back to each and any of them and thank you for watching see you on next one bye